Blackboard Exam Converter is now available in an easy way to upload your tests into your online classes in just a few minutes. The detailed instructions are available on the Center for Teaching and Learning's webpage at nyit.edu backslash CTL. Go to Teaching with Technology and look for the first item listed, Blackboard Exam Converter. Click on Sample Exam Converter on the web page and watch it download. Open this file to learn about how to create an exam in Blackboard. Using Exam Converter, you can easily test in the following formats. Multiple choice with a single correct answer or multiple answer, essay, true, false, or matching questions. Notice each type of question has a specific code. Coding is key. Multiple choice questions with a single answer start with a MC caret. The caret is located by pressing Shift 6. Multiple choice questions with multiple answers start with MA caret. Essay questions start with ESS caret. And matching column questions MAT caret. And true false questions TF caret. If you don't remember the coding, it's okay. The sample is always online to assist you. To start creating your exam, type your questions in a Word doc, just like the sample. Type in questions description of each activity, and on the very next line, put your questions and then hit tab. For multiple choice and multiple answer questions, make sure you place an asterisk before the correct answer. The asterisk is located by using Shift 8. Skip only one line between each question and no spaces after the final word on the page. Now it's time to use the exam converter. Copy and paste the test information. This is from a sample exam link found on the CTL webpage. Place the copied information into the exam converter. Remember the Blackboard exam converter is conveniently located at the bottom of the CTL webpage. Next, click on the blue bar, Convert to Blackboard Load File. Look for the Blackboard file that downloads to the bottom of your screen. Notice the light blue bar changes to dark blue. Next, open the Blackboard file. It is in a format called text in Notepad. The file naming convention may look unfamiliar. Now save the file to your desktop. I created a folder called Blackboard Uploads so I can easily find it. Notice it will end in TXT for text. Next, it's time to log into your Blackboard course. Look for the control panel. If you don't see it, scroll down. It can be hidden on the bottom. Click on the control panel to see course tools, look for tests, surveys, and pools. Click either tests or pools, then select build test. Add a name, I'll call this exam midterm. Add a description and instructions in this section if needed. Not sure yet? That's okay, you can edit it later. But don't forget to click submit in the bottom right hand corner. After clicking Submit, I notice the top banner, Success, Midterm Created. That's fantastic. Next, I will need to upload the TXT file or text file that I saved to my desktop earlier. Select Upload Questions and then select Browse to find the TXT file. Click on the file to upload to Blackboard. Notice in this box you can assign points per questions for your students. Decide the points per question here. And once again, don't forget to click Submit in the bottom right hand corner. Next, I will add the test to my content area. Go to the top and see the small plus sign? Click on it to create an exam name and don't forget to click Submit. Now look on the side dashboard and see midterm displayed. Next, I will click on midterm in my side dashboard, then the top toolbar assessment and test. Click on midterm or whatever you named your exam and then submit. When you are ready, make sure to change the permissions from no to yes so your students will see the exam. Scroll down, read all the permissions to create an exam that is best suited for your class. And don't forget to click submit. 
Your exam will now be available in Blackboard. Click on Midterm on the side panel. This is what your students will see. Here I have three tests that I created. Click on Midterm and begin to start the exam. Look through the exam to make sure it is displayed the way you like it. I see some spacing issues. Perhaps there is a typo. No problem. You can easily fix that. Now let's fix the spacing issue. Go back to the control panel, the section on tests, surveys, and pools. Go to tests. Here you will find all your tests you've created. I will click on midterm. Look for the carrot, the gray down arrow, and a circle. A drop down menu will appear. Go to edit. Your tests will now appear in an edit mode. I will fix the spacing issues. Go to the question. Click on the carrot. Select edit. I can now fix it. If you have a typo, fix that here or want to change the wording. It can easily be adjusted. Want to add a new question? If you go to the top dashboard, you can create question. There are other question types available to incorporate to your exam. Explore the choices that can best suit your class. Blackboard Exam Converter is a great way to upload exams. Have questions? Need further assistance? Kindly contact the Center for Teaching and Learning. Thank you.